Hi everyone, welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. So, I'm going crow hunting this morning. I've never been crow hunting. Uh, I've been rabbit hunting, partridge hunting, deer hunting, but I've never crow hunted. I was interested in getting into crow hunting uh, primarily uh, as a resource for survival nourishment. Um, it's not the, the most uh, sought after thing in North America, but actually uh, my research uh, shows that actually uh, overseas uh, Europe and stuff like that um, often in times of you know economic downturn and things like that people turn to abundant natural resources like crow and things like that uh, to find food and there's actually lots of good recipes that you can find uh, for cooking it up the big thing that uh, a lot of people think is because you know it's a scavenger it's obviously going to be really dirty uh, that's not untrue but they do have like vultures and other uh, scavengers very strong uh, digestive systems that can break down any kinds of bacteria or anything they'd come into that's why you never really see like you know healthy un you know unhealthy sick looking crows walking around they they're beautiful birds because even though they eat all that crap their their body can handle it that being said uh, you still want to cook the meat uh, absolutely well done uh, cook it through uh, cook it even more than than necessary so that you do uh, you know just kind of take that that extra precaution so let's get going here um, you know I don't 100% know what to expect I decided to bring the 12 gauge out um, you know this road here that I've that I've that I've picked um, it leads down to a mink farm and there's farms on either side of the road so it's a good area I can hear the crows I've seen them sitting in the road before and you know when you come along driving by they just get stirred up into the, the trees and the bush so I think we should be I think we should be in a good spot also in addition to never having hunted crows before I've never uh, filmed a hunt so this is a first for outdoor adventure craft there'll be more to come like I say I, I do deer hunt and rabbit and partridge all that in the fall and stuff so this will be good practice um, Hopefully we get some interesting footage and uh, get a couple of crows. All right, so let's get going. Okay, don't laugh at me, but I'm gonna try doing a crow call, okay? Hey guys, so I'm just working my way down the road here. I want to take this opportunity and uh, thank One Tigress for uh, sending me this nice shotgun shell holder. Also has a, uh, a rifle shell, rifle cartridge holder as well. You can swap it out. It's uh, super convenient. Fits right on my shotgun nice. I've had it on my 22. Gets five shells right there. You can fill the pocket up with shells or cartridges as well adjustable straps oh it's real nice thanks a lot guys I just saw one fly off the road into the bush just down about 300 yards or so so let's be quiet right over there. I had been here about 10 minutes ago. No sooner had I turned back and headed back out, I saw three of them fly right 
behind me back over into this spot. So I'm just gonna cop a squat and chill out here for a while. So I'd come out to the back of the road uh, to the gravel pit and was just chilling out for a while and truck showed up and wanted to load up with some sand and stuff so I figured I might as well let them have their gravel pit. So I'm gonna head back out the road, still got a ways back to the car and I seen plenty uh, but nothing's come in range of a 12 gauge so we'll just head back and see how she goes. So I'm just heading back to the car. I've been out here for about two and a half hours or so. I'm sure all you hunters know it's never as glamorous as it is on TV. I saw lots of crows everywhere and heard them calling but nothing really came in range. Um, they've gone a, kind of gone quiet now. There's not much going on so I'm headed back to the car. I did see two cross the road up here a ways so you never know I might walk into them. But uh, it was a nice morning, relaxing. It's kind of uh, kind of misty out and cloudy so it's a little bit cooler than it was yesterday so that was that was nice um, wanted to give another shout out guys to One Tigers for uh, providing me with this shotgun shell holder ammo pouch um, I really enjoyed having it out here today um, one of the things I noticed about it was it was really tight uh, the shells never slid around in it or anything like that uh, real thick stitching everything's uh, doubled up uh, with a nice thick heavy trim and uh, big toggle on the zipper here it makes the action really easy uh, I think their list price on it was like $16.95 they sent it to me uh, for free it was the first product like that any company's ever sent me I'm not gonna lie I kind of felt like uh, Tony Hawk getting a free pair of sneakers I was uh, pretty stoked uh, one of the most awesome things that's ever happened to me just this little pouch but uh, I was really impressed actually uh, with the product um, took a couple pot shots with it there the other day uh, real nice padding on the uh, on the chin the chin rest there puts it right up against it really uh, pads the shock nice so uh, I recommend checking it out guys if you're into hunting and stuff like that one tiger says a lot of tactical gear and uh, you know accessories for your your guns and your your hunting kit and stuff like that so uh, give them a check out there right here where I am right now I hear them pretty close on this side of the road and not too far off on that side I'm hoping they try to meet each other Oh, I can see two of them right over there. Man. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me this morning. Uh, unfortunately, no crows were harmed in the making of this video. I did get a tip from the uh, mink farmers down the road, though, that uh, I guess the road is littered with them uh, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, that's probably about the time I was by scouting it out earlier in the week. Uh, I really didn't take track of it at the time, but they, they have a feed truck they drive between between the barns down here and I guess it you know drops some food and stuff like that so the crows are pretty thick here in the, the middle of the afternoon so maybe later in the week we'll uh, we'll give it another crack but thanks for joining me here today guys on Outdoor Adventure Craft I had a nice walk and I was glad to bring you guys along with me a little bit cloudy but we didn't get any rain so that was nice um, don't forget to subscribe thumbs up the video comment let's get in, engaged and involved and talk to each other and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time on Outdoor Adventure Craft.